now that we've got the user model pretty much written, you might be asking yourself, but wait, I wouldn't want this kind of user model for my website. Anyone can delete these users. Anyone can add themselves as a, a user. There's no safety involved in doing that. And you're right, we need to add that functionality to that site. But before we do that, we want to make sure we don't make the mistake of adding that functionality to the user model. And if we want to see why, we want to think about our RESTful resources again. There is no uh, RESTful way in, in general to access a user that represents logging in as that user, validating as that user, uh, so that you can say that this user can do certain things and this other user cannot do certain things. So instead what we want to do is we want to create a new resource that has access to these different methods here that can represent logging in and logging out. And the standard way uh, of doing that in a RESTful environment is creating a new resource. Maybe it's called uh, Sessions. I'm going to call it Login because there is a um, similar but differently related object in Rails called Sessions and so I want to differentiate those two intentionally and not make them confusing with each other. So we're going to create a new model that represents whether or not the person at our website is logged in or not. And so what we're going to do is we can access that resource via a get to, to find out right here whether the user is logged in. We can post to that uh, model to check, um, to create a new one of these models that represents us being logged in versus someone else being logged in because on different machines two different people could be logged in at the same time and so we want to have a model that exists for each one of those. The difference between this model and our user models is that we're not going to store something in the database that stores some representation of them being logged in or not. We're going to store something uh, elsewhere to, to represent that. So we can get to check if they're logged in, we can post to create a, a new logged in, and we can delete to uh, unlog in or to log out uh, that uh, user from that particular web browser. And then all these other methods don't really make sense in, in a traditional traditional sense. We're not usually going to want to be able to let people find out who else is logged in or replace logged in users um, or unlog out or uh, uh, unlog in or, or log out everyone on the website at, at one time. And so we're only going to use a subset of these methods that are available from REST uh, to provide that model. But we are going to have a separate controller and a model to represent that logging in and logging out state from the, the user model. So it will be real easy dif to differentiate creating a user and their information from logging in as a user and validating or verifying that that person is the person who they say they are.